G'day ladies and gentlemen, buddy here, and welcome back to episode 2 of Euro Truck Simulator 2. And yeah, we're going to click on it, but before I actually do, I kind of should just point out that uh, last episode, or well, the start when I was actually going through a bit of the summary of how, the, you know, the profile and all that, uh, I actually did not, I mean, I'll just show who my character was, I actually didn't actually show, you can, if you want, you know, you can uh, pick a female. I didn't actually click on that at all, and I hope no one actually was watching, probably thought I was being a little bit sexist or anything. But no, you can pick one of these charming young ladies here if you so choose. It doesn't have to be one of the blokes. It can be a, one of these beautiful young women right here. So, but yes, I'm not picking that. I'm going to go back to picking Santa Claus. Where the hell he's gone? There he is. Bullfed. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd quickly point out because in case anyone thought I was being a little bit sexist or anything or a bit weird. But no, you certainly can pick a female character if you so choose in this game. Just want to quickly point that out. But yeah, we'll continue on. We've now done two deliveries. So I haven't actually played it since I did the first recording. And we'll actually, and I did actually click on the email, actually by mistake, but, uh, you know, oop. Uh, and it's not to be able to get my own, car, own truck yet. And all clicking on that will do is actually just shows you where the uh, nearest truck dealer is that I can get to, and he's actually in Plymouth. That's for the Mercedes-Benz. I mean, of course, the Mercedes-Benz was known as the Majestic originally before Mercedes finally gave permission to use their name. And, of course, the email I did get was simply that one. It's the brand new Mercedes trucks for sale at the dealer in Plymouth. That's just basically to say, hey, this is where our showroom is. Meh. So we can't buy one just yet. I didn't really think we could anyway. You got, we used to take you probably a good few um, deliveries first before you can... Uh, actually start buying your own truck before you get a loan. So in the meantime, we'll just get hired as a professional driver and we will drive. And at the moment, these are the places we've been, so I've actually now been to Plymouth because I went in here and had a look at the uh, trucks. Haha. <laughs> um, so you can actually click on any of these. I can't click on any else. So if I wanted to go, say, from Amsterdam, so I actually did London to Amsterdam. Might see if we can just find something different. Um, go to the top of the map how's that sound we could do I, I'm trying to find one that's at least a reasonable amount of money so what is that that's Amsterdam dollar. that's back to the UK and that is actually 3,000 uh, I was back to London mm. but I'd like to actually open up more of the map uh, is there another one to Carlisle that's uh... oh that's a nice sim that's a relatively simple one It's not too bad. Uh, actually, I'll quickly just have a look. Which one's kind of offering a reasonable amount of money? Plymouth to Plymouth to Plymouth to Plymouth. Okay, well, they're not, there's no point doing any of them. And they're going to bother. Okay, so I think we'll do Amsterdam to just try somewhere different. I think, was it Grimsby? We've already been to London anyway, so it's nice. To, and the cool thing about doing these these kind of deliveries is it's a nice way to actually open up the map initially. Um, so yeah, that's still a nice amount of money, and I think we'll pick that one. Take the job. That's still that's I mean that's two and a half thousand. Yeah, two and a half thousand pounds. We'll do that. Cool. Ta da! I got new mail again. Yay! Excellent. Let's just have a uh, quick look then. What is the mail? Let's have a quick squeeze. Oh, look at that. We're ready to get bank. Uh, we, we can get a bank. Are we going to rob them? What are we playing? Payday here? Uh, <laughs> now we can get a loan from the bank. Sweet. Well, that's quick. Not a problem. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be driving the DAF. All right. But I'm not going to about that just yet. And of course, we're on the other side of the truck. I assume we've got a load on. All right, let's crank this bad boy up. Oh, I can just turn the engine off again. That was stupid. I hit the wrong button. Okay. All right. Nate, we're out of here. We're leaving. Oop -a -doop -boo. This is fun. Okay. Gotta make sure I go the right way here. 
Which is actually that way. Come peeps, go past. Ooh. Not sure if I hit something there, nor if uh, what was going on. It sounds a bit sick. Okay. Actually, it kind of feels weird to me because again, we're actually on the wrong side of the truck, and you. I think the steering wheel spazzes out. I think it's actually just because of this uh, crappy old steering wheel I've got, and it tends to make it want to derp. Yeah, so it's, it's tripping out. It's a little annoying, actually. Not much you can do about it. It's going to do it, but as long as I'm uh, sort of aware of it and I know it's going to do it, because it's, otherwise it's just going to. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't usually affect it. It's more of a graphical glitch than anything else. It doesn't usually affect the truck. It's just that if you see it happens, you can tend to overreact and you might, you know, grab the, you know, force the steering one way or the other. And I was actually interesting, I was complaining before <laughs> in the first episode trying to work out the, oh shit, trying to work out the um, speed and whatnot. I actually forgot that because when I set the game up, I um, put it into uh, kilometers as the uh, measurement, and it actually has got on the GPS on the bottom right of the screen, it's actually got the kilometers in the top left corner of the little GPS screen. <laughs> I actually didn't realize, I completely forgot it did that. Oh, I've got another email. Sweet. I'm doing good. People love me. So yeah, I don't have to worry about trying to convert the uh, speed or anything anyway. Actually, although I think these trucks are actually in kilometers an hour anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> oh, no, you keep going. Look at these. That damn truck, uh, the car was slowing right down. It's like, don't stop there, you idiot. Oh, sorry, just adjusting the microphone a bit. I moved a little bit further away from the uh, microphone. A little bit sideways there, or well, not sideways. Getting a little bit off to the side of the uh, of the lane, but that's okay. We're still we're still doing good. So yeah, so it's, yep. what's going on here? That seems to be going as quick as I would as I would like to do is to be going. I just suddenly thought, oh, I bet you I did not take the uh, speed limiter off. Ah, deal with it. I'll check it when we get to the um, destination. It's not that far a drive anyway. So I'm, I'm not going to worry about it for this particular um, delivery, but I will check it when we get to. Um, oh, Jesus. When we get to Grimsby. I'm actually gathering speed, but that's only mainly due to the fact I was going downhill. Oh man. I really, really can't wait to get that loan. I really can't, because I want to have my own truck. Because at least I can configure, you know, you can, you can actually configure the truck properly. I don't know what's going on, but this is just like really weird handling. <laughs> ah dear, that's all fun games. I'm really hoping I don't crash too badly. Like how cool is that? That's a, a tugboat going un, going over the bridge. That's beautiful. I keep hearing these weird sound effects. It's like either I've got a whole bunch of paper falling on the floor, or I'm about to lose the trailer, or something. I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Anyway, who cares? Just want to try and concentrate and make sure I get to get the delivery done without crashing too badly. Stay on the right side of the road. Thank you. Okay, that's pretty good. So yeah, uh, actually, there's one thing I did say before in the last episode is um, because I didn't get that many comments. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Damn, dude.
Holy shit. Like, holy s... Nah. I don't know if I actually damaged the trailer or not, then I might get a penalty for that. There was no indication that I actually did do any damage, but... Holy s... Holy spitting chips. That wasn't good. Like, the steering wheel was hardly even... I'm not, I mean, I'm not... Oh, I don't get it. I don't get that at all. He's just tripping out horribly. <laughs> uh, the, you know, I was trying to say, not at least to indicate, um, I actually wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing some mod reviews for this. I don't necessarily want, you know, not whether I do like map reviews or anything like that, but I'll certainly do some like truck reviews and, you know, trailers and things like that. If you guys, if you guys like to see, because I didn't get that many comments at all on the uh, first video, uh, and you guys may not even like this series, if you don't want me to do any more, then, you know, I mean, that's fine as well. I, mean, I can easily, uh, I mean, I do, I do like the game. Uh, as a matter of fact, I love the game, but, you know, if people don't really want to see any of it, then, you know, hey, that's fine. I won't uh, waste your time, and I certainly won't waste my time doing recordings if people aren't particularly interested. But, uh, you know, I'm just kind of throwing it out there. But, uh, you know, if you would like to see some mod reviews for any of the mods for this game, for Euro Truck Sim, uh, you know, I have no problem with at all with doing some of them. Because some of the models that some of the... Uh, the community of Dana are absolutely amazing. Probably fan of them. Probably even look better than the in-game ones than the actual developer built ones. And of course, you do get some of your uh, big sort of bigger trucks, your USA type trucks. You know, your um, your Mack trucks and your your Peter builds and uh, and whatnot. So, and they're actually quite cool to drive. You can let me out. You are. Thank you. So yeah, it's always, uh, and, and actually I was driving one, it was the, uh, uh, I can't think which one it was now, which one was I driving? I think it was the Peterbilt that I was driving, it was very nice. In the, That was before I upgraded the, or updated the game. Okay, we're turning. Uh, don't get too carried away. Coming up to the ferry, which is not bad. So this thing is handling horrible. This is uh, handling absolutely terribly. And I'm really, really looking forward to getting my own truck. So, and since I don't think it's like a major drive now with this episode, so it shouldn't go for too long, actually. Fingers crossed. Again, it, it may actually just be the steering wheel I'm using, because again, it's only a cheapy steering wheel, so I mean, it could be part of the problem why it's actually so shitty. Alright. Uh, that one. And I've got to make sure I go to the right spot. And, which I do believe is Hull. Because we're going to Grimsby. Yeah, it's going to be 11 hours, it's going to cost a fortune, but that's okay. Alright. Embark. <laughs> if you actually go to the wrong one, then you end up with a very long drive. Mm-hmm. And we don't necessarily want that. Of course, now we've got some lights. And we've got to use the wipers. Ah, good old British weather. Rainy one minute and stormy the next. And I probably just offe seriously offended all my... Uh, <laughs> any of my viewers from the UK. Sorry! Oof. Damn, I thought he was going to clunk me then. There are. Don't want to make too many mistakes. Actually, now it's going to be a slight problem because this truck actually shows everything in kilometers an hour. The display on the uh, on the GPS is showing kilometres an hour, 
So now I'm going to have to try to work out what what's what. But that's okay. I could actually I could actually just cheat and uh, go into the settings and change it, but it's okay. It's not that far anyway. I think, I think uh, 50 miles about, 80 odd or something thereabouts anyway, so. So we're not doing too bad. And I know 60 close enough to 100, so. I'm really more just trying to concentrate, so I... I know my commentary for these games is probably going to be pretty damn atrocious. Uh, but I'm... <laughs> Knowing that I'm actually in this truck and it seems to be want to be a little bit derpy on me. Or either again, it could be the steering wheel, my, the one I'm using. But yeah, I really want to concentrate and actually make sure I don't just... Oh man, see. I'm hardly even touching the steering wheel. It's like the... You could say the sensitivity is all wrong. But when I initially configured it, of course, I configured it to... Um, the truck that I originally picked. It's too hard to then suddenly pick a truck and then have to reconfigure it for every single one. So I'm just kind of just lumping it, and yeah, you never know. There might be a few things, there might be a few, you know, a few prayings here and there. If there is, well, well, that's a bit of fun to the uh, to the video anyway. <laughs> Can't expect everyone to be damn pro all the time. Not that I'm saying, not that I'm even remotely including the line pro, because I certainly am not. That couldn't be any further from the truth. Because I don't play games, there's this one thing with me that you, you guys would certainly know, and that is I do not play games to show how good I am or anything along those lines. I play them for the fun. Because to me, gaming is a form of entertainment, and you know, if you're not actually enjoying yourself while playing them, then really, why on earth are you playing them? And if you can do, you know, that's why I always try and encourage people, if you, know, if you, are, if you are a gamer, you know, crank up your own channel. Get it out there. Why not? I mean, if you're going to, uh, you know, if it's something you really enjoy doing, honestly, give it a shot. Because it is actually a lot of fun. And actually, until I started actually doing uh, YouTube and commentary and well, doing this, I had actually no idea about video editing. I just literally learned it on the fly at the time. So, you know, it was, it was a real nice, it was actually a real cool learning experience. Just watching some YouTube videos, get learned some tips and tricks through that. Damn, and away you went. It was as simple as that. Just adjust the camera there, because the uh, bottom mirror was off kilter. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I'd certainly encourage anyone to give um, YouTube a go. Actually, one thing I'd really like to try and do, actually, is uh, try and get my old man, my father, re, uh, get, go into, U into YouTube. Because he's been a truck driver. And he's only recently retired. And, you know, he's doing he was driving trucks around. And he's had a go with this. And he actually, he, I think he actually quite enjoyed playing Euro Truck Sim. And I was like, saying, well, why don't you actually uh, start doing some videos? He doesn't really have his, he doesn't have a computer of his own, but he can certainly use mine. If I'm not using it, he can do a recording. And if he doesn't do any necessary commentary, just does the recording and just shows me driving around. But you know, I don't know whether he would do it. He probably won't. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, that's just part of you know, that's just what I was just saying. It's like you know, I try and encourage other people to do it. You know, if you can, uh, if it's something you thoroughly enjoy, right, you can learn a few different other skills and. Uh, you know, if you can make a little bit of extra money from it, well, why not? <laughs> oh man, learn to stay on the road. I don't know why I'm, uh, I'm having such a hard. No oh, man, I'm I'm having I think I'm having a hard time driving in a straight line. I am going around bendy roads. This is bizarre. It really is. Actually, I think Grimsby is further away than I thought it was going to be. 
Oh shit, stay on the stay in the lane, boy. Stay in the lane. Because it's like so sensitive, just slight movement of the, of the uh, steering wheel, and the truck just veers off to the left or right. So, <laughs> I, think I'm get, I think I'm going to give myself a headache from trying to concentrate too much. I really shouldn't be in this lane, I really should be sticking to the uh, left lane, but you know. Come on, go past. Thank you. Oh, I feel a bit better actually. Because <laughs> that's actually another little, a sl a small little tip uh, you can do too. Because you're actually in the um, the sort of normal driving lane. In this case, as you can see, is obviously the left lane. You actually have like a bit of a pull off here. I'm deliberately driving into it now, and that's not the truck being dirty. That's me doing it. So if you do have a slight cock up. You've got a little bit of runoff you can actually allow for, but if you're in the right-hand lane, as you can see, it looks like the barrier is just there. So you don't have that like a little bit of an extra um, area to play around with. So it's always quite nice to try and stick with the uh, proper lane to be driving in. And of course, it's being a bit warped on me at the moment. Let's see if we can just turn the. Uh... Oh shit! Sorry, people. I actually didn't mean to change lanes put my headlights on full anyway. Oh man, this is so jerky. Not really sure what I'm indicating, but I am. Oh, fucking hell. Pardon, me, pardon any unnecessary swearing from me, I do apologise, but that is bad. <laughs> As I said, I, I, I dare say, you know, it's probably the way these trucks are set up, but, you know, I'd also dare say it's partly me. I'm not going to discredit that one up front. But uh, it's like the handling is just atrocious, and it was, you know, I, th I thought the um, the Scania that I drove for the first one was, you know, needed a little bit of a fine tuning, but it wasn't as bad. This is just absolutely atrocious. It's, yeah. I mean, I certainly haven't touched. I haven't touched any of the settings. They were as they were for the first mission. So, you know, there's nothing has been altered in any form. Uh, so, yeah, it's... And there is, like, a major <laughs> difference between the trucks. And I know they do, are set up differently, they are configured differently, so it's expected. But I just wouldn't have thought these start trucks would have been quite this bad. Yeah, we're not far away, anyway. I think we'd stand to the Grimsby, anyway. There we go. Grimsby discovered. I think it's actually stopped. I think it stopped raining like about half an hour ago. <laughs> but eh, whatever. Can you go past, please? So I'm going to take up all the lanes here because I'm a truck driver, and that's what I do. You can stay there. Okay. Turn that off. And with a bit of luck, we should be getting through the green light. Yep. We're through the green. And we are doing the delivery. Okay. So, let's see how well we do with this uh, parking. Ah, oh, it's on the other side, isn't it? Oh man, this is going to be fun. Okay. I know, it's a cheat. I know it's cheating. <laughs> I'm probably going to get people who are going to hate me for doing it, but I'm doing it anyway. 
Nope. I and I still stuffed it up. Okay. Need to think about this one. Like I said, reversing is not my forte. Okay, like I said, that's probably a bit of a cheat to do that, but, uh... <laughs> Yay, we delivered it. Change the camera angle, it does make it a bit easier. Okay, bonus for parking, proficiency bonus. Yay! No, we didn't quite hit level 2, but we're close. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that is delivery number 2. Woot! Uh, you know, I actually stuffed myself up then because the truck... I actually ended up having to look out the wrong side, I came into the, uh into the yard the wrong way. I should have turned, because I, I went in and then turned to the left, I should have come in and turned to the right, it would have put me out looking out the right window. Ah, newbie mistake. That's why I'm only a newbie. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at this. So I've got some emails here anyway. Uh, drivers with your own equipment needed. Uh, okay, da 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 da. We offer competitive rates of up to that per job. Please, if you have your own vehicle, inquire directly at the dock in Amsterdam. No, I don't, so. Okay, visit the local bank centre. Let's see what we can get. Uh, okay, 80,000. Or should we... Hmm. Okay. Should we risk it? Get the loan now, and actually, let's have a look. If I do that, I also have a quick look at Plymouth. I can't buy online yet, so I need to. Um... Okay, so there's the. Is the Actros? That sun shield really annoys me. Actually, it looks like. Some demented eyebrows. <laughs> and what's this one? Ooh, that looks a lot better. That's kind of what I'm thinking I'm after. And it's a bit, bit more grunt. Bigger engine, more grunt, more torque, more power, bigger fuel tank. And it's 82. If I get that loan, that's going to put me. I've got. Yeah, I'm going to have some money. I'm going to have some money left over, so that's not too bad. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Uh, I'm not sure if I can actually really customise it. I don't know if I'll stick with... Uh, I probably wouldn't stick with white. Yeah, I think we'll do it. I'll do it before I kill the episode too. Since I had to tor torment you guys with some horrible driving. Uh, let's visit the bank. Boom. Yes. Give me some... Give me the moolah. Let's go back to Plymouth. No, I don't want to order one. I know I need at least five trucks and I don't have. Da -da. Okay. What's a stock offer? Oh, probably just that. Okay, never mind. Uh, what you gonna give? Me? I, I, there's not much more I can really put on this, so I'm not gonna bother wasting the money. But what can I do for color-wise? Black, red. Oh man, that does crank the price up a bit, doesn't it? Kind of a pinky. It's a Bordeaux. I was going to say it's like a, it's kind of like a red wine. Um. Yeah, it's going to make about an extra eight hundred bucks on top. What have I got? It's still going to be a good four thousand. That's okay. What do you reckon? Nice, sexy black. Black horse. Yeah, why not? And that'll do for now. That looks pretty good. I want to take a quick camera shot of that, I think. Boom! There we go. <laughs> It'd be nice to put some additional lights on, but we can do that at a later date anyway, so. 
All right, let's purchase. Please come again. Oh, we got our first truck. Oh, jeez, I think we just fell out of the sky too. <laughs> and here we are at our sexy yard, ladies and gentlemen. Ta -da! There it is, our first beast. Love it. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think that will do for episode two of Euro Truck Sim. We have our own truck. After only two episodes, that was pretty good. I was kind of thought it would take longer than that for some reason. But anyway, let's see, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know the drill. Pretty much leave any heaps of heaps of comments, heaps of li heaps of likes or dislikes if that's what you want to do. Um, but yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll, we'll be back with episode three, and we'll be able to do our own trip now. I get that will be less noisy. And as you can see, we've got the job marks. So we can now start doing our own deliveries with our own equipment. Yes. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's it. Don't forget to leave plenty of comments and all that kind of cool stuff. And until next time, as always, keep cool, keep safe, and I'll catch you around. Goodbye.